Today we are going to discuss reset and factory reset in checkpoint firewall. Let's understand what is the difference between reset and factory reset. In reset, you only wipe out the configuration. However, in factory default, you also put the device into the default operating system. What does it mean? When you buy a firewall, it comes with default operating system. For example, your device has came up with R80.20 firmware and over the period of time you have done some upgrade and you went to for example R80.30. If you choose to go for factory default, it will also take you back to the same operating system which was the same at the time you bought the firewall like R80.20. However, if you only choose for reset, it will only wipe out your configuration and you will still be having the updated firmware version. There are different scenarios when you will choose reset or factory default. One of the scenario is sometimes your device start misbehaving and you tried all the troubleshooting and uh, your vendor says if you have two devices in HA, okay, do the factory default to one device, put the new firmware again and let's see if the issue comes. Reset, it will wipe out the configuration when you would be doing that. For example, you work in a company uh, which has a lot of offices over the world and in one uh, location, for example, in India, in Mumbai, they decided to sell the office and they also decided to sell the devices along with the office because it will give them some money. So in that case, as network security engineer, you have to wipe out the configuration before handing the device to third party. That's for security concern. There are three options to do the factory reset. The first very common option is like you have two buttons, reset and factory reset or you can say factory default in the device you can press that with the help of pen uh, for 10 seconds and uh, it will go to default option and it will format your device and your device will be factory defaulted another option is you can do it from gui and the third option is you can just uh, break the boot sequence and then from there you can choose option four and you can uh, go for the factory default option my name is santosh sharma welcome to my youtube channel techgroup4u.com Let's begin. Connect the cable, console C cable. You can use any cable. I'm using my mobile cable. Put other end on your computer. Now let's uh, download the software for USB Type-C. This is how you need to search in your Google, like Checkpoint USB-C console driver. The first website is of Checkpoint and Checkpoint has given a link. Just go to the first link, download site. I use this file because in this file you have exe file so it's for 64 you can install this one for 32 you can install this one I'll install 64 bit I have already installed 64 bit so I will show you once you have installed how it looks like go to the device manager and you can see here I have USB Z already installed it's not giving me any issue and it's on COM5 let's connect the device on COM5 there's another thing I would like to show you. See, even my drivers are okay. I'm not able to connect to the firewall. What I need to do, there is one catch. Uh, you need to click serial, of course, five, and you need to change the speed, double one five to double zero. So this is the speed that it will work for this checkpoint 1590. I was thinking that they should mention this speed in the same uh, link because the software they mentioned is only for these devices It took me time to find out this option. We are connected to console Let's do the factory reset from the first option which is directly pressing little hole with the pen Keep it pressing for 10 seconds. Now you can see a lot of messages are coming And now it has started. Now I can remove the pen. You can see uh, the lights are turning on and off. So there are a couple of things going on on the background to perform the factory default. Now it is booting. So you can see the device is totally turned off. It will take some time. So I will make it a little bit faster. You can see now the device is up, WAN port is showing up. Yeah, now we are inside of a device and it has shown me login option. 
192.168.1.1 is the IP address, default IP address, uh, how you have to log in your device. I have already shown this in very detail, so I'm not going to repeat the process. That's why I made it very quick. So we are inside the device. Now let's see what is the second option to do the factory reset. Go to device, system operation, and here you have factory default option. So that's the second option. We are going to default our device. Let's do that. Click OK. Appliance will be up in this duration of time, but it normally takes a little bit more. So let's see what we will see in the CLI. I'm connected to the console. That's why I'm seeing these options. So it will show exactly same what we have seen previously. So I will uh, make this steps master. You can see now we can see the login option. So 192.168.1.1 is the IP address, default IP address, uh, how you have to log in your device. I have already shown this in very detail, so I'm not going to repeat the process. That's why I made it very quick. Let's do the third option. And that is like we will reboot our device and we will break the sequence. So you can see that I have already uh, pressed Control C option many times. And I can see these options out of this. The fourth option is the one that we need restore to factory default. Let's do the restore. Yes. Okay, now this is again the same process, so I will make it faster. You can see the device is up. I can see already the lock-in option. So I will quickly configure my device. So that was all about the factory reset and reset of checkpoint firewall. The process is same in all the appliances. I hope you liked the video. Please press the like button, subscribe to my channel and share this video with your friends.